Shalom. I'm going to give all honor and glory and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakakadash, double honors to the elders and apostle Great Millstone, teaching me this is truth and sincerity, salutation to the hopeful elect that's prayed to the four corners of the earth. All right, so the title, um, this is going to be another word of the day. So, like, this is going to be another word of the day, um, which the, the word of today is forgive. All right, so we are, you know, commanded to forgive, you know, to always forgive our brothers, you know, to ask for forgiveness, for, to ask for forgive, forgiveness, right, whichever forgive goes back to the word forgiveness, right, so that, you know, in your daily life, right, you know, you might have a brother, or you might have someone that would, like, do you wrong, or do you dirty, or, you know, you know, just, you know, make you feel, um, grieve in the spirit, um, but you have to you know you have to forgive that brother, right? You have to, you know, you can't let that, you can't let that, you know, stop you from, you know, um, going out of your spirit, right? And you uh, retaliating and ultimately doing something that can hinder, you know, your, that can hinder you being, that can hinder the spirit being taken away from you, right? So ultimately, you know, the word of today is forgive. You know, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of spirits. You know, there's a lot of spirits being riled up, right, in the last days, right. So you know, people are gonna be doing stuff that you know, that ultimately you want, you know, that ultimately you know, it just the signs and ends, right. So, you know, so you know, you might have brothers in the church that might, you know, I don't you know, but just might do you wrong, you know, if you know someone who's in the church or, you know, family member, but, but you know, um, you know, you got to ask for forgiveness, you know, but, um, you know, um, so I want to, you know, just jump into the uh, word of the day, um, word forgive, um, which in the English, it means for, forgive, which, how you say in the English and Hebrew, it's slok, 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 so slok, slok, right? It's, here you see it right here. So slosh means slok, yeah, slok, 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 yeah. Forgive me. So when you, you know, if a brother did you wrong or, you know, you, you know, like I always, you know, say, Say slock yeah, which just means for me. Um, slock, you know, um, you know, you can use it, you know, it just goes back to the word forgive, right? So, you know, when you basically saying forgive me, you know, you're technically, you know, you're repenting, right? That's the, the word forgive goes back into the word repent and hit the word repent, which means to be grieved over one's past and see forgiveness, right? Right, so you know that word repent. Um, go that to word forgive, forgiveness. Right, so I have it here in the Hebrew as well. Um, in the dictionary, so forgive, which means slock, right? Slock, slock, it'll be the word slock, which means to pardon, you know, to be forgiven, right? To forgive, so slock. All right, so I'm going to read some scriptures off. So we'll start in Acts 3.19. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be balled out, where the times of refreshing should come from the presence of the Lord. Right, so we are commanded to repent, you know, how do we repent? We ask for forgiveness, right? You know, and when you're praying, you say, you know, Yahweh, Slakia, Slakia, what Slakia means, forgive me, Slakia. Um, and, uh, you know, Slakia, my sins, right? Which, it'll be, it'll be child, child, right? Child, child, right? I'm not, I'm not, you know, too great with my Hebrew, but, 
Shah will be of, Shatayan will be, Shatayan will be since. So, you know, Yahweh Shah, Baba Shah, Baba Kasha, Baba Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, which means forgive me. So, 19, repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, that time of refreshing is when Yahweh Shah, Shah comes back and saves the one thirds and the great multitude, right, that were chosen, right? Um, you know, so in order for you to be a part of that elect, you know, you have to repent, right? You know, you have to be in that repentant mind state daily. You know, you have to repent day in, day out, day out, right? So I'm going to go to Luke 13, 30. It's called to repent. Luke chapter 13, verse 3, I tell you, nay, but except you repent, ye shall all likewise perish. All right? So again, we are commanded to repent. You know, the sin of wages going back goes back to Romans 6 chapter chapter. The the wages of sin is death, right? So the more sin you accumulate without asking for forgiveness, right? You just make your um you just make your um the lifespan lower, right? Um so your time on this earth, you know, with priests ultimately. Mark chapter eleven verse twenty five. Mark eleven chapter chapter eleven verse twenty five. And when you and when ye stand and praying, forgive flock, which forgive me flock, if ye have all against any, right? So if we have um you know, if our if we're in the truth, you know, if we have um you know, did something that has, um, you know, has put that person in a bad spirit or had rolled that person the wrong way. Um, you know, we are, we, um, you know, we, well, we know we got to ask God, which I shot to forgive us for doing that, right? For, you know, putting, you know, that person in a bad spirit or for rubbing that person the wrong way, right? Because we all, you know, do something that might, you know, might run someone the wrong way. You just never know. So we just have to forgive, you know. That's why you should repent daily, right? And you should uh, repent. And you should repent. And you should, and that's why you, and you uh, pray, you pray, you pray your Lord's prayer, prayer right? Um uh, you pray you are you pray the Lord's prayer uh, Matthews um, Matthew chapter six verse nineteen to thirteen. You know when you pray you pray in that you pray you 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 um say the Lord's prayer right daily that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you. Your trespasses, right? So, so, we can't be like you know. We can't expect. We can't. You know. We can't expect. You know the Lord to Yahweh, the Lord to blot out, blot out our trespassing if we don't you know forgive um, the people we trespass we trespass against, right? So you know it's it's it go both ways, right? You know if you want if you want you if you want your watch out to forgive you, um, you must forgive the person that. You must forgive your brothers, right? You must forgive the people you trespass. All right. Matthew 6, 15. Matthew chapter 6, verse 15. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your father forgive your trespasses, right? So in order for you, you know, again, you in order for you to um you know have Yahweh Shah be in the right place, um 
in order for you to be in the right spirit spirits of the Yahweh Shasha, you know, you have to, you know, forgive. Um, you know, you have to forgive your brothers, you have to forgive, you know, the people um that you have wrong, right? That you have probably the wrong the wrong way. In order for you to uh, in order for you to go to Yahweh Shasha and ask for forgiveness forgiveness from uh you know from your sins, all right? So you know. And Yahweh Shah, you know, he know he weighs he weighs the hearts of man, so he knows if you're truly um if you truly um uh, forgiven that brother or forgiven that person, you know, whoever it could be. So you have to um you know you have to be you have to make sure that when you are praying that you ask, you know, Yahweh Shah Sha to uh, Put you in that spirit where you know where you be in a um, repentant mind state, right? A forgive, a forgive, a forgiving mind state. Matthew chapter eighteen verse twenty one. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him till seven times? So Peter basically said, you know, um, you know, you can use this as an um, as something in the world as well, you know, some people might, you know, just do you dirty, you know, probably two times, three times. Some people might rub your spirit the wrong way two or three times. Um, this is how you're supposed to treat that situation, right? And I forgive him till seven times. In 22 verse, and Yahweh Shah said, says unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but unto 17, 17 times seven, right? So we're supposed to forgive that person 17 times seven, you know. With seven is a complete number, so you, you know, you know, you're supposed to um, forgive that person. You know, you can't try to, you know, you know, you can't make, you can't um, do something that will basically, um, you know, lead Yahweh Shasha for not, um, lead Yahweh Shasha for not forgiving your um, trespassing, forgiving your sins, right, and forgiving what you did, right. So, you know. Um, you know, again, it could be a brother in the truth, right? So, you know, um, you just, you know, that, you know, brother, you know, did something that rubbed you the wrong way, or, you know, just could be other people in the world, and they get, you know, you're supposed to forgive that person, right? And Yabba Chan Chao, you know, if, if it's something that, you know, Yabba Chan Chao, you know, well, Yabba Chan Chao, you know, and the angels are watching over, you know, the situation, right? So, you know, something, you know, that could be a test, to your uh, faith and to your, you know, uh, testimony of, uh, you know, do you, what type of spirit that you have, right? So, you know, you got to remember when you're into the truth, you, truth, you're always being tested. So um, don't, you know, like let the people of the world or the brothers in the truth, you know, make you feel that test, right? So, um, you know, and again, uh, just remember, Yama Sha is always, you know, you know, always, always um uh, watching over, you know, um uh, angels uh, watching over us, right? So uh, by the angels. So, you know, it's not um uh, like Yama Shasha don't see um what that brother is doing doing to you or what that person in the world might be doing to you, you know, they will they will get dealt with with right so you just worry you just worry about you know just forgiving that person right and y'all watch how to take care of the rest so again i'm going to close out here you know the word of, word of the day is forgive 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 all right um i'll give all under glory and praises to you how about you until next time we'll say shout out one